Yo, let's go to today's video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make boss drop rates and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Uh, this video was requested to me by um, listen, yeah, someone in my Discord server. Yeah, that's what it was. Someone requested someone requested this in the Discord server. So I'm gonna pretty much just go through generally how it works with like, you know, you have a boss, and then if the boss dies, um, it will give you know, it will drop. Uh, I mean, it really depends. You know, some games you have like tools like you know weapons and stuff some games you have it where like you just unlock an ability and stuff so let me go ahead and get straight into it i'm pretty much it's more like a demo like it's more one of those like you know um videos where i'm talking to you guys about it and i'm showing you guys examples rather than showing you specifically something even though i'm going to specifically show you something it's more so me explaining the general concept of drop rates but yeah so okay first thing first of course we we're going to need a boss so let's click avatar rig builder uh block avatar right let's go ahead and name this npc boss right we're going to insert a service script into service script service we can go ahead and name this drop script then we can delete print hello world right then let's use a for i loop now obviously i wouldn't recommend you doing it like this because um obviously in an actual game it'll take a while for everything to load in the workspace plus just having it if you just do a for i loop one time it's just going to like only get the bosses that are currently alive so if like they, they die and respawn this won't work i'm again i'm just showing you the general concept of how it works so I'm going to say for i comma v in pairs workspace get children enter then I'm going to say if v dot name is equal to quotation marks boss and to have an extra check just in case if you wanted to make sure um because I guess at the same time it could be a player named boss at the same time um boss let's see or let me just let me change the name actually let me do boss just do let me change the name to boss npc right so we're gonna say if boss so if the name is equal to boss npc right then we're gonna set up a function for when they die we're gonna say v dot humanoid dot died connect function right in print i mean sorry close parentheses enter then you're gonna say local drop chance is equal to math dot random one oh sorry math dot, math dot random now i am going to put one comma 30. It is up to you guys for whatever number you want to use. Now, obviously, the higher, the, uh, just let you guys know, just so you know, this is like the starting point. Like, this is the minimum. This is the maximum. Just let you guys know. Like it, or well, not necessarily. But the point is, this should be your lower, your lowest number should be here. Your higher number should be here. To pretty much just put into perspective and stuff, right? So, say if you want it to be like at a hundred, you could do like you know, uh, one to one hundred. And say if you want it to be like a fifty, a fifty fifty chance, you could say like. Um, you can do it like this, right? You can say if drop chance is, say, less than equal to 50, right? Then it'll drop it. That is a one and a half chance, a 50% chance, you know, half a chance and stuff. Now, if you want it to be different, you know, ratios and stuff, then you have to do the math. I'm not going to do it for you, but you can do the math type thing, right? So let's say if drop chance is greater than equal to 50, which is honestly, that's a good chance. That's a good shot. You have the 50 chance. It's like flipping a coin, right? So if it's greater than or equal to 50, or you could just say greater than 49 or uh less than 50 right we can say uh let's say if, if it was like something you wanted to spawn in at that thing at like like where the boss just died we can say local drop part is equal to instance that new in quotation marks part parented to the workspace right and i can say drop part sorry not drop chance i say drop part dot c frame is equal to v dot humanoid part that C frame, right? This is just a gen this is just a general example. So if I go ahead and run the game and then I'm gonna kill the NPC and I'm gonna show you guys. So if I click, so if I run the game, I open up the workspace, go to boss NPC, and I go to the humanoid. And then if I view um if I set the player's health, I mean sorry, the NPC's health to zero, keep in mind it's a chance that this is gonna happen. There's no guarantee. So it's a 50th chance, so it's a pretty high chance. But if I so if I type zero, kill the NPC, boom, okay. So like I said, it's a 50, it's a 50 50 chance. So it looks like we got it, right? Boom. So we got the um the part spawn and stuff. That's pretty much how you would do it. Like if it was like a tool or something, I guess you could like give it to the player, but then you'd have to integrate it into like a you know knowing if a player killed uh the boss or not now if you guys want me to cover videos like that i got y'all and stuff just let me know i can make a part two and go more in depth but i'm just generally introducing the concept now say if it was like you wanted to give a player a certain ability or a skill right um i'm assuming your game probably has like a type of like obviously you know games have like a way to keep track of if a player has ability unlocked you have it saved like a variable so let's say like local fireball for example 
local uh unlocked fireball right and it's a bool you know it's either true or false and then you know it's parented to the player now obviously there is no player but just imagine like we're like we're referencing the player here right so simply what you would do is you know if if they you know the player got lucky and then they're, they're unlocking whatever reward it is you would say unlocked fireball that value is equal to true which means they have now unlocked the ability and they can now use that ability if that was how your game was if that's how your game works right again this is just a general example i can go more in depth if you guys want just let me know in the comments and stuff but yeah that's pretty much the end of, that's pretty much the end of this video um <clears throat> and stuff uh, i'm not really gonna have the script available because i mean it's very simple i mean yeah i mean if i subscribe i mean if the channel members or discord subscribers want it y'all can have it but it's pretty simple but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video definitely leave a like and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and yeah.